Our goal is to empower uh, communities by providing or mobilizing the resources to strengthen families. So really it could mean almost anything, but we focus on four core things, which is education, from early childhood to um, working with the Chicago Public School System to other educational programs for young fathers, for example. Legal aid, and then uh, workforce, you know, um, workforce readiness programs. Uh, economic, we call it economic stability programs. So we help people who are in the Chicago Housing Authority uh, units to find and keep jobs. Those are our primary responsibilities, and then, but the biggest one for us is mental health. In 1992, while I was in, in uh, my master's program, I was an intern in the social policy unit here. So from an intern to the CEO of this major non-for-profit organization, it was a proud moment for me, but also one of daunting responsibility uh, in needing to provide these services to, at the time, we were only serving 42,000 people a year. Today, we're serving 72,000 people a year. The biggest challenges for me here at Metropolitan, I think is the same challenge that any business face, and it's how do you keep uh, and attract talent? You know, a lot of people will tell you it's about raising money or the state and the economy and the federal government. For us, it's how do we keep the best available talent interested, not only in Metropolitan, but in the sector. So I'm the first Latino uh, CEO of Metropolitan Family Services in 161 year history, so that's clearly a difference. It, it, it entails differences in the way the organization looks at community. It's a more kind of holistic and inclusive view. Uh, we, together with our partners, have invested $750,000 per community to hire outreach workers, case managers. So since we started, the incidence of um, homicides has gone down by 15%, and shooting incidents have gone down in the city by 20%. In the communities where we serve, they've gone down even more. For me personally, I, I don't worry about the future a whole lot. I, I like to say that if I do the right things and I do it with integrity, that, that'll take care of itself. So we care more about what happens in community, how do we strengthen community. So for us, it's every day we are raising money and we need the support of community, of foundations, of the public sector, of the private sector to invest in these resources that we put right back into community.